Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. To our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the Orashi Imperata against covid God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even named lives. We pray that we guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. To plight your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Rock, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for us. Saint Pedro Caluso, pray, pray for us. us. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for hands inclusion in each. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the death. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, People confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor who grew also long. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people we are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the fight that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may to stop whatever fight that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion in between us to repent from the sins 
They are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization. Okay. This we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of the saint. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Rock. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray, pray for us. us. Saint Pedro Alonso. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Claire of Montefalco. Pray for, pray us. for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Lady, help of all Christians. Intercede for, for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us pray and our family, family and our family friends. And friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. That the Holy Spirit have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations, all the people who family work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in the ocean. Amen. Amen. Good evening and welcome sa isa na namang edisyon ng The Inclusive Report with me, Billy Saint Macuse. Ang ating topic for tonight ay ang paglalarawan sa mga salita, the appropriate words to describe people with disability, but not only that. Here are some ways that people with disability are described. There are also outdated language na naka-include sa listahan natin. These are terms and phrases that should not be used. As I have already mentioned, there are also respectful and appropriate words which should be used to describe different impairments. What is okay for some people ay hindi po okay para sa iba. Kung hindi niya pa po alam ang sasabihin, just ask how a person like myself, likes to be described. Here are the lists of words and recommended alternatives. We must avoid these terms when referring to people with disability in general. Afflicted by, crippled by, Disability, differently abled, handicap, handicapable, specially abled, special needs, suffers from blank, the disabled, victim of blank, with different abilities, persons with a disability, people with disabilities. So, ano ho ang mga alternatives for these terms that we must avoid? Here are the recommended alternatives. People with disability, whether women with disability, children with disability, etc. Has disability? Lives with disability? has a chronic health condition or lives with a chronic health condition. Sa mga nag 
naka-tune in po sa ating Inclu Radio sa Facebook Live and YouTube Live later on, you may write down these terms sa inyong notebook or you can also use the notes app sa inyong phone. Now, when referring to someone na naka-wheelchair, do not use the terms confined to a wheelchair or wheelchair bound. To be honest, hindi ko rin alam na hindi na pala recommended kami ng wheelchair bound. Eh. Instead, we must use wheelchair user or person who uses a wheelchair. Now, when we refer to a person whose legs and or lower body are paralyzed, wag nang gamitin ang paraplegic. Instead, gumamit na lang ng alternative na person with paraplegia. This refers to a person na paralyzed from the waist down. Person with paraplegia na po ang alternative dapat gamitin. When referring naman sa isang tao na mayroong four limbs paralyzed na mula leeg hanggang paa, don't use quadriplegic. Instead, use person with quadriplegia or quadriplegia. Meanwhile, when you are referring to a person of short stature or with a form of dwarfism, wag na wag din po natin gamitin yung dwarf or midget sa halip. Use the term person of short stature. I'm not certain kung appropriate din yung term na little person. Please correct me na lang if I'm wrong. At ito naman ang mga terms na iiwasan when we refer to someone with an intellectual disability. Huwag po natin gamitin ang intellectually challenged, mental defective, mentally de retarded. In fact, I'm guilty with using at least one of these terms when I was growing up. Mentally disabled, simple, special, moron, Retard or retarded, imbecile or cretin. What we can use are the following terms instead. Person with cognitive disability and person with intellectual disability. In fact, I am personally aware that something like that should be used instead, but I didn't really know how and why. As in just recently, ko lang nalaman. Meanwhile, when we are referring to someone who has Down syndrome, wag na wag po natin gamitin ang terms na Downy or Mongoloid, lalo na yan. That's kind of derogatory, yung term na Mongoloid. Let's just use person with Down syndrome if we are referring to someone na may Down syndrome, okay? Kung ang ating tinutukoy naman ay ang isang tao na may learning disability. Here are the terms that we must avoid. Slow, slow learner, retarded, special needs, and the recommended alternatives when referring to someone with a learning disability, person with learning disability, Yun lang. Person with learning disability is the best term to refer to someone na may ganun. Now, when we are referring to a person diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD, here are the terms that we must avoid. Hyper, hyperactive, and the recommended alternatives are person with ADHD. If we are referring naman to a person with a brain injury, wag na wag natin gamitin ng terms na brain damaged and brain impaired. 
what we can use instead is the term person with a brain injury. Now, this up, uh, this is what I myself ganito ako, a person, a uh, some, uh, an individual who has autism. Kung kami po ang inyong itutukoy, please don't use these terms. Please don't call us aspi. Wag nyo rin kami tawagin autistic. Because I never got to embrace that term myself. Don't call us high functioning either. Wag nyo rin kami tawagin autism. Don't call us profoundly autistic. Now, the recommended alternatives, autistic person. That's the better term. Person with autism is also applicable. Person on the autism spectrum, neuroatypical, neurodivergent. The terms under the recommended alternatives should be used and tell your peers and family na may mga kilalang may ganito to refer to this Facebook Live. You, you can also view this on YouTube very soon. And you have to write down notes as well. And so that may mga alam kayo on what terms to avoid. Lalo na sa mga persons with ADHD, someone with autism, people with disability, etc. And you can also call us. Now, when referring to someone with psychosocial disability, here are the terms that we should avoid. Crazy. Insane or insanity, mad, manic, maniac, mental, mental case, mental defective, mentally unstable, psychotic, psychopathic. Now, for Persons with a psychosocial disability, here are the alternatives. Person with psychosocial disability, person with a mental health condition, person with, okay, insert the name of their condition if you know it and have their consent to disclose it, such as person with depression, person with bipolar disorder. These are the more acceptable terms when dealing with and referring to persons with psychosocial disability. Now, kung ang ating itutukoy ay ang may mga sensory disability, don't use these terms. Blind as a bat, deaf and dumb, that's not acceptable for me either. Mute, and the recommended alternatives are B or blind with uh, blind, whether lower case or upper case, deaf, deaf as upper or lower case. Minsan kasi they prefer the upper case terms, eh? particularly the upper case deaf. Weathering hard of hearing or H O H, dalawang capital H isang lower case letter O. Person with a hearing impairment, person with a visual impairment, person with vision impairment, person with vision impairment. Yan lang ko. Now, when we refer to someone who does not have this ability, okay, these terms, akala ko pwedeng gamitin. Hindi pala. Able-bodied, abled, healthy, hearing, normal, of sound body, sighted, and well. Now we should 
list down these terms that we can use to refer to those who don't have this ability instead person without disability and non-disabled person what we could refer sa mga wala namang intellectual psychosocial or cognitive disability instead of normal and of sound mind we can call them neurotypical in fact una ko nalaman ng term na neurotypical back in 2017 when i was that busy in job seeking well as fate would have it hindi ako sinuerte doon but i'm not gonna talk about why now when we refer to someone who does not intellectual psychosocial or cognitive disability avoid the terms normal of sound mind and the recommended alternative is neurotypical note that some people with disability who use identity first language will be will use able to describe non-disabled people and able-bodied to describe people without physical or mobility related disability remember that people with disability are people with human rights the same as everyone else and kapag natutupad po ang human rights naming mga people with disability it should be expected everyone else and having our human rights fulfilled should be expected now these derogatory terms for people with intellectual or cognitive disability should be avoided no matter the context in which they are said usage should always be avoided the terms are listed here in the name in the aim rather of education and their origins and why they must be avoided and pwda does not condone their use never ever use these terms brainless cretin derpy dim-witted mm, dumb idiotic imbecile or imbecilic feeble-minded few blank short of a blank na uh -uh. mentally defective is not acceptable as well mongoloid and moronic are not acceptable too wag na wag din gumamit ng mong or nong retarded no 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 Simple-minded is also not acceptable. Pati simpleton, slow-witted, F-wit. Please don't mind the crass term. Witless and stupid. If you are writing down, down these words, you can use these to educate the people around you, your peers, your family, your relatives, and tell them that may mga words na pwede nyo gamitin at mga hindi pwede gamitin and what you should avoid. Now, the following are derogatory terms for people with psychosocial disability naman, no matter how the context in which they are said. Usage should be avoided. The terms are listed here in the aim of education and their origins and why they must be avoided but pwda does not contend condone rather their use don't use the terms such as crazy daft insane or insanity loony lunatic madness madhouse or madman maniac mental case nuts psychotic psychopathic Sped from special education and wacko. Dito acceptable sa mga may psychosocial disability. Now, ito naman ang mga derogatory terms for people with physical or mobility related disability. No matter the context in which they are said, usage should always be avoided. The terms are listed here in the aim of education and their origins and why they must be avoided and PWDA does not condone their use. Let's not refer to them as cripple, crypt, crippled by blank, 
handicapped, gimpy, invalid, lame, spastic, or spaz. It's important to note that some derogatory means have been reclaimed by some people with disability, but that does not mean that terms are appropriate for non-disabled people to use. Para kasi sa mga ibang people with disability, proudly identifying as a crip or mad is a way of surviving in a world that is still slinging those slurs at us. It may feel empowering for some people with disability to take back a violent word. Although ang iba nasasaktan pa rin ng husto sa mga ganitong salita. In my case, to be called aspi or autistic is hurtful na. I'd rather use to be I'd rather be called person with autis autism or autistic person. That's more appropriate and politically correct. Avoid or approach these words or with caution because they have a violent history in present. Now, meron pa tayong commercial before we wrap this up. Bago po tayo magtapos, ito po muna ang Oplan Rolly and Ulysses sa Inkunihan. We are accepting any amount of donations para ko sa mga nasa lanta ng bagyong Rolly at Ulysses. Kung meron ko kayong panahon na magdaan ng kahit anong amount para maipamahagi sa mga ating, sa mga kababayan nating apektuhan ng bagyo, you may send that amount to this GCash number flashed on your screen, 0908. 638-8270. Ulitin ko pa. 0908-638-8270. So, we have just wrapped up this uh, inclusive report called the proper terms to describe persons with disability. I have also learned a lot, lalo na sa why, why we should use people with disability, wheelchair user, person with paraplegia, person with, person with quadriplegia, person of short stature, person with intellectual disability, person with Down syndrome, person with learning disability, person with ADHD, person with a brain injury, autistic person, person with autism, neurodivergent, person with mental health condition, person with a visual impairment or hearing impairment, non-disabled person, neurotypical, ganyan. It's because I do have experience experiences na iba ang pakiramdam ko when I was called autistic or high functioning. I never really called myself high functioning just because yung IQ ko was 
according to my last checkup sa developmental pediatrician. Now, looking back yung ano ko eh, yung uh, yung pang bubuli. Hindi naman ako nabuli but there was this incident na may kumakanta nung using autistic as a derogatory term. I called him out kasi it's not acceptable. I didn't like how it was used, how it was used in that context. Mind you, ha, he's also a person with disability and what we need is to educate them na minsan may mga terms talaga na hindi pwedeng gamitin for reference to people with disability with cognitive or psychosocial disability pa man yan. Hindi nila magugustuhan ng mga certain terms na akala mo pwede pang gamitin. Psychosocial disability pa nga eh. Especially in this age na kailangan din pahalagahan ng mental health. It could also affect their mental health if you if there are some ignorant or whatever term that that is appropriate neurotypicals na pat sadyang hindi lang considerate enough to still call excuse me to still call people with disabilities mga derogatory terms that's not right we are still having a long way to go para yung ating lipunan ay mag inclusive enough. Although we have seen some small, rather small prog- progresses. But we will get there. Hindi, hindi tayo nag on this journey. Our struggle may be real, but for me, as soon as we got to know what terms that should be used to refer to us, the world will be a better place. Tiwala lang. So this has been my inclusive report this February 26. Na ang subject I would describe people with disability. Sorry if I'm becoming too emotional dahil nga meron akong na experience that I was bullied and even called the term that I didn't want to hear. It who must not be named in my own context. We hope na may mga natutunan kayong mga terms that hindi pala pwedeng gamitin at yung mga pwedeng gamitin. Especially when referring to different people with disability. So this has been Billy Sent Makuse. For the inclusive report, I'm sorry. Umiira naman yung aking nasal allergy. It's been part of my life too. We hope that you still have a pleasant night regardless of what you might be going through remember that you're not alone just have strong faith in our creator and we we always believe in a god first and truth first inclusion and that h and i we put god first have a great night everyone